Welcome. Welcome to Ark Survival, where if you step out your door, you have Indominus Rex's butt in your face, apparently. <laughs> no, seriously, guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more crazy Ark adventures. I don't know where that came from, but okay. <laughs> okay. Um, as you guys can see, we have something tamed up and it is a female tech parasol. So we need to go and fetch her and then we need to look for a male. And also our Indominus Rex is not a baby anymore. It's a juvenile. Hello, little juvenile. Um, it's still a baby. Like, look at you. You're still, you're still a baby. Once you reach, where's that thing? Where's... Yeah, once you reach 50%, I'll stop calling you a baby. Actually, you know what? 25%. Then you're not a baby. Then you're a toddler. What are we at? Stop disappearing, box. 24.3%. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Um, you're still baby. you still baby. Guys, you guys have... Oh, I have not sh told you. I have not told you, but I just like sneak peeked it anyway. Anyway, um, look at what I did in the middle here. Oh, this is so cute. We've got like a little Ovis with his little garden, his little plant, or it's a she, I don't know, it's pink. Well, we've got a pink light there. So yeah, I guess um, that's where that's uh, at. You're a female. And then we've got a nice bench so we can sit here and, oh, this is so pretty. Yay. Um, and then we've got this nice fountain with a pretty cool fish in the middle, by the way. It actually reminds me of Extinction for some reason. You know the the city, or I think it's called the city, I don't know, I haven't really played on that map. But you know that, that metal thing where it's a bit rusted and stuff like that? It looks so cool. And then we've got some snails with it. We've got another bench on this side in case we want to look at the fountain from this side. Well, I can't. <laughs> Oops, oopsie, and then we got a llama with its little white flowers, oh that is so cute, and it's also got a pink light, so um, yes, we've got some purple lights and stuff like that, so if you guys are wondering, um, these torches behind the llama and stuff like that, those are actually from the mod, these are all echo mods, echo mods, um, but the, the lights, the torches, stuffy stuff is from this Inca empire, so yes and then the rest are all from literally just eco stuff like i think most of it is from the eco garden decor because the lights are even in here so you can get the lights also i absolutely love these chinese lanterns i cannot wait to put them in my greenhouse like i'm so excited about that but anyway <laughs> um and then the fountain also comes out of here and then there was something else structures i think where did i get my benches from um uh, i think it was from furniture also we've got uh, the bonsai trees are in here we've got them in the middle i didn't show you guys but there's the benches and stuff like that so literally i decorated this whole thing with that eco um decorative mod what is it called uh decor garden decor so the, there's a little bonsai trees just by the way so cute um, so yes, that is that. And then as you guys can see, we've got some glow bugs going around here. So that's from the light mod. Um, so here's the light, the additional lights. So glow bugs, you just put those down and then voila, it makes some bugs. I think I need one more here in the middle, just so that it like goes everywhere. Anyway, so uh, I haven't done much to this area. I'm trying to keep it the Inca theme, like, you know, um, wait, what? I can sit on the mat. Uh, that does not look right. Okay, let me just get off. Um, yeah, so I don't know why the mat is there. I just placed it there. But um, yes, yeah, so we've got these nice trees that I got from... Oh, which mod did I get it from? I think it was this one. Um, the Eco Trees Landscape. So trees, I think it's called the Lit Cypress trees so yes i got that in here so it's actually like a lantern or well, not a lantern yeah a lantern light thing like a street light kind of thing and then the tree is just like growing over it so that's so cool i love that and i actually did that on the other side as well so um let's just quickly go have a look it's a small tree but it's like a not so big and bulky and gonna take up all the space so yeah, we've got that going. And also, by the way, you can actually, I can remove these plants. For some reason before, I couldn't remove these small plants, but now I can. So that's cool. Um, Amma berry. I have some. Yes. 
Yes, we got 100% imprinting. Now you just need to be adult, please. Be adult. Um, and then yes, we've got some lights inside here already. Although I want to put those other lights in. I'm just... We've got these for now. So um, it's just going to help us... Oh, I noticed that this one is... Uh, it's looking a bit uh, different than the others. <laughs> Let's quickly change that. Please tell me you're the right... Oh, you're the right way around. Okay. So... We're going to... We shall rotate it then, manually. There we go. Okay, so put that on. It looks a little bit skewed, but whatevs. Whatevs. So yes, I'm going to put the other lights in here, but those are here for now. So at night time, I can at least see what's going on in here. And then um, this is happening automatically. So I came and put thatch in and everything. And uh, that uh, collector dude is putting all the poop inside there. So that's cool. Thanks, bro. What is this Tyrannodon doing in my base? Duck Cersei. Um, so yes, that's uh, that's what's happening guys. Let's go ahead and let's go get that parasaur. And then we can actually go and look for another one. I have in fact actually already made the chemistry bench. Just by the way, if you guys didn't see it. There is the chemistry bench. And then talking about that, we do have some oil. So I'm going to split that into four. So even though we've like gotten the electronics that we needed, I think I'm still going to have them breed for us so that we can get extra electronics. Um, but yes, where is all the cooked meat? I think it's in this one. I should probably um, color code these things. I do have uh, dye, so we can. Um, but yes, I want to get the jerky on the go. I want it to start uh, crafting up for us. So let's get that going. Um, and then there's cooked meat here, as well as in my own inventory, but yeah, one, two, three, four, okay. Yeah, so the, this jerky is very important to keep it going, so we have to keep that going. We're going to need more more oil and stuff like that. That's kind of why I want to keep going with the, 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 the tech stuff. <laughs> wow, I struggled to get that out. Um, that's why I want to keep breeding with the tech stuff so that we can just chainsaw everything and we'll get, you know, we'll get the electronics and we'll get oil and stuff like that. Do we get silica? I think we get black pearls from that. But um, yes. Oh, we still need forges, guys. I haven't even made forges. But anyway, our base is looking pretty snazzy now. I'm liking this. I'm really, really liking this. Um, there was something I wanted to do. Oh yes, we're getting a lot of toxic eggs now. Unfortunately, I've run out of citronelle, but it's okay because we are growing it again. Um, that's why I wanted a theory. I wanted a theory because they better at harvesting berries and stuff like that. So um, I'm not going to worry about it because once I have the seeds, it's fine, you know. It's just a pain to go and look for the seeds with that marsh chops because I know he's got different attacks and everything. It's just a pain like in general to go with. Because he's so slow kind of thing. And a theory would easily get that in like two minutes. And um, where the moss chops takes hours to do so. But um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Other than uh, that we need to go and get that parasol. And then I want this dude to grow up so that we can move on to the next step. Which is primal. We need br primal blood. Primal blood. Um, where's my reindeer? There you are. My Rudolphy. My rude of fee, 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 fee. Um, yes, we can just go to the last remote location because I was there, obviously. Hopefully, there's nothing too crazy out here. No? Okay. In the soul ball, you go. And would you look at that? A male tech parasaur. That is the wrong pew pew. And Dodo, don't you dare eat it. I'm watching you. Just want those dodo to come closer. There we go. Knock it. Knock it. I knock it. it. Um, oh goodness. You need a lot of berries, bro. What other berries can I give you? 
Tinted berries. Oh, that's going to take a long time. Should I just get you 42 major berries? Oh, boy. And I don't even have kibble for you or anything, so never mind. I'll just get you berries. Okay, I think I'm going to just head over to base and just go get a tame helper and then I'll feed it the tame helper and then blah blah blah. It's, I'm not going to farm 32, what it, what it was, what, 32 major berries? I don't know, but I ain't going to farm all that. Today, I don't feel like it. I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to do that. What are we doing here? Oh yes, we want um, tame helpers. So I'm just going to grab one that is uh, 100, yes. And then I'm just going to go there on my own. Because I want to be a loner. I want to be a loner today, okay? Okay. And then... <laughs> Bye Raptor! Where was that dodo? There was an alpha dodo here somewhere. There's one down here, but I don't want to go there. I think there's a primal tech Paris, uh, triceratops here somewhere, so I don't want to go down too far. But yeah, I thought that was just funny. Uh oh. The Fiomia is running from something. And what could that be? I don't know, but here's a beaver dam. Am I yoinking it? Of course I'm yoinking it. What? What is this? Bye bye beavers. I'm gonna regret being um, a loner today. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a loner for too long though. And there we go. Did you guys see that? I called it the. Uh, <laughs> what was actually? D D D D D D D A. I think there was more D's though. Anyway, um. Okay, well, now we have two parasols so they can uh, make babies. Babies. They make your babies. I will put you guys right over here. And then you guys make me take babies so I can chainsaw them. And then enable mating. Uh, behavior in a. Oh, no, that's turret mode. Um, enable mating. Can we just disable that turret mode? Don't know what that turret mode is, but cool. Um, yeah. Okay. How are you doing? <gasps> you have no food. <gasps> oh no, buddy. There's no citronelle. What are you gonna do now? What are you gonna do now? You'll be you'll be okay. You've got two hundred thousand health. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. You're not starving just yet either. So. Um. I just have to keep an eye on him because, yeah, I mean her, yeah, I'm going to have to keep my eye on her, my eye on her, you know. Okay, so I want to make a primal industrial forge, well, an industrial primal forge, but I need quite a bit. I need 860 metal ingots and then I need some more oil. Which is fine, we will eventually get that. So I think what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to make... I'm going to make two of these. And then while that parasol is pooping out a fertilized egg over there, I need a nest. But can I have a nest is the question. I don't want to use all the eggs that I have here. Oh damn, this is not going to be good. Let me just pick up the baby. Oh, wait, did you pick it up? Did you pick it up? Where did the egg go? Oh no. Did someone eat the egg? What happened to your egg? Did it fall through the floor? I hope not. That would suck. Okay, well, um, that's a tough one. That egg is gone. I was busy doing something. I was busy doing the forges. Well, making the forges. Okay. Okay. And let's pull some metal. We'll pull all of that and then scrap metal. Yeah, we might as well. Done. Put that in. Half of that. 
And there you go. Let's go get some wood. There is more metal. Just didn't pull everything. Oh, here's wood. Um, metal? Yeah, it didn't give me everything, but that's fine. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm full. We'll do that. Actually, yeah, I need the wood for charcoal, so I'm not going to switch it to electricity. Let's go grab the other metal. Grab that. And that. Okay. Well, I could actually just keep some metal for in case we need stuff that requires just metal, like clean metal, but it's okay. So, it's going to be a long way to the primal industrial forge, but it's fine. So, once we get to the origin, so we're going to pr fight primal once, well, hopefully once this Indominus Rex is done. Because I think he's going to have a good amount of health. Oh, he's hungry. Um... Yeah, so he's already got 615,000 health. He had 400 and something before I imprinted him. I think we'll see in the beginning of the episode. But um, yes, yeah, so we need to fight Primal after this, which means we can get Primal Blood. And then we're going to move over to Origin. And then Origin is going to start unlocking tech stuff. And that is going to be awesome because this base is huge. And uh, we're going to get replicator as well, a replicator. Um, we're going to change it up all to tech stuff and everything like that. Except for this stuff in the middle, all this stuff is going to become tech unless we might change this to a tech generator. But this will stay and stuff like that. Most of it will stay just because I want it to. Um, but yeah, we will start adding in tech stuff. I think we might even get that tech storage box where if you walk past it, it like puts stuff in certain boxes for you. That would be cool. Um, but yeah, I love this little piece. It's so much better than just having water in here, isn't it? You know what we could do? Oh, uh, we can't because it's all square stuff. I was going to say we can put water in here. But that would look pretty cool. Guys, I found the the fertilized tech parasol egg. It's right here. Okay. Well, this thing's picking it up for us apparently, which is fine by me. Um, we're getting a good amount of eggs. I'm happy about that. I would love more fabled eggs, but it's okay. I think a lot of our fables are out, so the eggs are going in here now. Okay, so uh, I made a hatchery. Sadly, I had to use some of the eggs that we do have available to us because obviously our dodos got killed. So, and I'm not gonna go tame more dodos now. But um, yes, we've got the hatchery, which means this is now going to. We'll see the egg pop up just now, but it's gonna help them lay eggs. So, that's fine. Eventually, like today would be nice. Thank you. It is activated, so. It will do its thing when it's ready. There we go. There we go. We got the eggs. See? I was doubting myself for a second there like, uh, I'm talking nonsense here. Anyway, um, I do want to go and do some things. And that things is to tame some more elemental stuff. So, I need more elemental eggs. Oh no, we had three of these. That means one actually expired. That's sad news. Or did I use it? I don't know. But yeah, that is sad news. Let's just put this stuff away. Because I don't need it. Um, spoil meat in there. Blood in here. Normal meat in here. And then some primal stuff in here. Also, um, we are going to have to paint eventually because... Yeah, I do have dye, like I said earlier. We actually do get silica pearls from this stuff. Not black pearls, it's silica pearls. Um, yeah, so I do have dye. We can we can color it in, but I need a spray gun. So I don't feel like doing that right now. This dude, I'm kind of worried about it. But not too worried. I think I'm going to put him away for now. Her, my bad. Yeah, let's put her away for now, just because, well, I don't want her to die on us. But hopefully in the next episode we can go for primal and stuff like that. Um, kibble. Can we make any more of these? We might be able to. Like, can we make 10 maybe? We can. 
Nice. Nice. Okay, so before we head out, we are actually making more bullets. So we are going to be able to make more dart bullets. Not dart bullets, but you know what I mean. Um, and then we've got 127 of those. Let's just quickly see here. I think it's Apex. Um, oh, Primal. No, primal Dart Bullets. I actually don't know if I want to make all of them. Because once we start getting Primal, I want to start getting Primal ones, you know. But hold on. Where's the primal rifle bullet? A rifle. Is this it? 284. 284. Okay, so... Oh, we can only make 26 of these? Why? Probably gunpowder. I'm pretty sure we do have a lot of gunpowder in here. Eight. Wow. Wow. Okay, you can stop making... You know what? Give me all of those. Um, so regardless, we're going to need these primal bullets. Um, bullets. Primal rifle bullets. So it doesn't matter. We can make all of these and then those will get used towards whatever. I did two of them. Okay. So I'm going to make... Huh. I'll make... Let's make 30. 30 of those should be fine. Just stop that. Let's make it 36 so that this number can be even. Our 14 with 36 is going to give us 50. So that should be fine until we get the next tier bullets. Hopefully, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. But um, okay, let's go look for elemental now. I'm excited. We can look for ice. Well, we've got ice, so we don't need to worry about ice. And then we can look for fire. Fire is going to be a volcano area. Caustic will probably be by the swampy area. I did see a caustic feather light. I would actually like to get some feather lights instead of all of them being those what archaeo top are those things. Those things we have at home. Icy and spicy. So I did see a feather light down here somewhere. I think it was more towards this way. But for sure I know I saw a feather light. A caustic feather light. Just need to look for it now. Okay, there's a feather light. What is that one? That is a caustic and there is another one. Both caustic. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to get it to come this way. Otherwise, it's gonna land in water, and we don't want that. There's a manticore up there. You're going to fly straight to me and then you're going to bloop on the floor. Go, go, go down. Go down. What are you doing? You're going towards the water. You're like literally going in the water. What are you doing? Oh, wait, you're landing. Okay. Good night. <laughs> it's a male. Nice. What is the other one? Hopefully a female. Yes, it is. No, leave it. It's mine. Oh, look at the feet in the air. Like. Really? That's dramatic. Oh boy. Snakey. All of you. Out of here. Out of here. That is such a dramatic death, Featherlight. <laughs> it's such a dramatic death. Okay, anyway. I mean, if that's what you wanna do. Okay. Dilophosaur's down. That one has got way more torpor. Stop it. Oh boy. 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 Oh bo
Oi. You need three kibble. One, two, three. Please do not drown. You got a lot of health, so I doubt. I doubt it. I doubt it. I need to cut him. Thank you. Okay, so we have ice and now we have caustic. Then we need electric. I have, that is what I haven't seen, is electric. Hey, reindeer's nostrils. <laughs> um, yes, I have not seen electric. So we might have a bit of a problem with that. That just means we have to then tame light or dark. Oh boy. Then I shouldn't be wasting my time. I mean, it's going to be nice having them anywhere, right? Because this place is full of dinosaurs again. I was going to say animals. Well, they are animals, so. Because it definitely does look like someone's been here, doesn't it? <laughs> oh boy, okay. Um, I see something here. Oh, it's caustic feather light. I don't want another caustic. Um... Okay. Well, the search continues. Okay, here is a cave. I'm thinking, is this the penguin cave? And please do not be anything super dangerous in here. Apparently there is something super dangerous in here, so I'm just gonna get out. I'm just kidding. I don't know what's in there, but I was thrown off Rudolph, so I ain't going in there. I ain't going out without my red-nosed reindeer. Oh, I still can't ride it? What? Come, Rudolph. Yes, there we go. Oh boy, there's a Rex. Hi, Rex. Bye, Rex. Um, oh. Oh, oh. Buffoon Nameless. We need that. <laughs> then it takes one kibble. Okay, so bad news is I can't find anything dark or light. I have not seen anything. So that really does suck at this point point in time what is under me a ice megaraptor okay i saw a origin thing where is it though there it is kairuku okay as long as it doesn't fly then i'm fine once it flies then there's trouble guys there's a dark griffin hold on there's a celestial argentavis here yes we found it I thought it was somewhere else, but it's been here all along. Guys, how much torpor? Quite a bit, but it's fine. And it's a male, it's fine. Whatever. And it has three kibble. This is the one that I saw previously, which I thought was somewhere else. I was wrong. I was so wrong. Okay, just get into my shot here. Oh boy. Oh boy. I keep... Oh boy, I'm not reloaded. Not good. Not good. Okay, I can't waste these... These bullets. Well, I can. I mean, but I don't want to. Because I want to save the bullets that we've made for the next tier. Man, I'm wasting the bullets. I'll be wasting the bullets. Hopefully we'll be able to find ourselves a female. Okay, it's flying away. No, you're not. Nuh -uh. That's not how this goes. Okay, I need to quickly go home. Because I didn't bring the dark, well, the advanced elemental kibbles, so... Yeah, we gotta go get that. Hopefully there's still three. I'm pretty sure there should still be three. And then I think we're gonna call it a day because it's dark and... Excuse me, Rudolph. You gave me such a heart attack there. Yes, we still have three. Oh boy. Oh boy. I did not think we were gonna get a dark griffin today. Like, I really wasn't finding any. Like, that's the first one and the only one I have seen. And this is the second time I've seen it. Just thought it was in a different location. But good news is that we got the poison so we can get the caustic feathers. Um, and then we need fire and electric. 
Is there a cave here? It sounds like there's a cave here. Here's a fabled Enki. I think there's a cave under us. I can hear it. Like, I can hear the So should I quickly go back home and get tame hoppers? And there we go. Hello, friend. Let's get you to stop following me. What's that? Okay, so... What attacks does this thing have? Okay... And then does it have like a C attack? No. Pretty much just that attack then. Huh. It's just like a little hideaway space. I want to know if we could use the Dark Griffin to fight Primals. Oh, there's a Celestial UT. Okay, so it wasn't far from my base. I just wasn't looking properly. Pretty much. Okay, well, we've added another really big part to our team, which is fantastic. Those trees look absolutely awesome from the top there. Don't know if you guys saw it. I was a bit too quick, but... Oh, man, look at these two new friends that we've got. Obviously, we got that one in the previous episode, but... Damn, oh damn, now we just need a female, but we'll get there. Things are going good. Also, wait, I forgot about these two. I love feather lights. Like, I love them. I was going to say, if you want to ask me what my favorite one is, what my favorite tame is, it would be feather lights. But I've said this before and I don't have one favorite. I love them all. It's like Pokemons, you know, gotta have them all. <laughs> Um, okay, well, there's my feather lights. We got some nice feather lights. We got a griffin, which is fantastic. Oh, this is beautiful. Guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a big flat thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. And uh, yes, if you guys have not yet done so, make sure you subscribe. Okay, anyway, <laughs> have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.